Okay, now we're live. Did we do it right? Okay. 25 is live. All right. Great. Fantastic. Everybody might notice we've got this beautiful new border. I'm like extending my hands like the camera can catch it. Like, yeah. We got this wonderful new border. No, I cannot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're basically streaming from my rig now. With donations. Yes, with donations. Uh, if you look below stream, uh, if you want to donate to the cause, um, you can leave a message. Anytime someone rolls a natural support. one. And <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, donate just donate whatever, whatever you want. Everything, everything helps. But uh, yeah, let's, let's get down to it. So last week, uh, Leo had rebound the uh, rebuilt and rebound the uh, laystone. Um, and the ley line that passes through the laystone, um, the one that had been taken apart by goblins. And you guys traveled. Shink. <laughs> no, that's the banana sound. Uh. <laughs> I tried, guys. Don't don't be giving out false bananas. My you're, bananas. you're not King Mukla. Uh, her stupid uh. joke. Um, which was like yeah, it was up here. Yeah. Went over me. Yeah. So you spent a couple of days traveling south, and you have now come to a uh, the edge of the southern forest. Uh, crossroad, there we go. Um, you found that there's the town of Glayton. Talking about being zoomed way in. Mm -hmm. uh, heading down that way, and then you know that the Laystone is this way. These jolly fellows uh, fixed a, were fixing a broken wheel, and Lumi dies. <laughs> he just phases out of existence again. That's the Raven Queen collecting her soul. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you, you mods can't get banned. So. <laughs> oh yeah, right. So if you're uh, while mm -hmm. while we're waiting on her to come back, no. Uh, if you're in the chat, try not to spoil anything. If I'm pulling something up on the screen. Um. I'm just going to continue recapping until she gets back because she remembers what happens. Uh, but for the rest of you, they stumbled across this wagon uh, who they were basically re rebuilding their wheel and they were warned that there's like this outbreak of like large boars uh, all throughout the forest really but strongest in this mm -hmm. direction. And right about that point in time a boar came up, like hit and ran, like tried to attack here. Gore and run. Yeah, it was like a gore yeah. and run and left. And Aesir is like going to follow it and it's like now, practically out of sight. Oh yeah, I have all kinds of buttons. You guys will get to see the DM rolls, uh, whereas the party doesn't. So no spoilers on the DM rolls. But you guys Damn get to see. You guys get video. to see. You guys get to see that the DM doesn't cheat. Uh, I also have a random player button now. So instead of rolling a D three and calling it out, it just says that the fates have chosen no! Fia. Yeah, exactly. Why? Dios mio, no Fia. Yeah. Is it a bonus? <laughs> I'll choose the Adonis fate. All right, waiting on Lumi now. In the meantime, enjoy some antics of Mordendir. Hi guys! Mordendir! Look at me, I can dance. Oh my gosh! You guys didn't get to see the dance, but but everybody else did. Oh, there goes this here. Everything's alone. broken. We're alone. Fia and Leo are alone. Let's do this. They've all left us. I what <laughs> what are you gonna do, Vex? <laughs> I'm gonna dance, dance for the money. <laughs> dance for your bees, dance, dance. <laughs> oh uh, my gosh, guys. Well, that's that. <laughs> that's the stream tonight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Aesir's gone now. <laughs> Daniel's gone. Oh you, my God. you left. You left us. <laughs> what did you do? What? Did you Is that a symbol that? of her anger? So apparently, as as Lumi gets angry, her nose grows red. <laughs> She's like the Rudolph of being pissed off. Lumi, with your nose so bright. Oh 
Okay. Don't you share your rage tonight. <laughs> so that solves it. Both this is why guys, I can't... <laughs> look, Daniel just got his, like, real estate license, so both of you guys just need to come move in with us. Hey, 50, 50 megabytes down, 10 megabytes up. We got you, hook up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Louis, will you guide my rage tonight? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Raging through the snow. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna write a song, guys. Perfect. You are a bard. We were together now. <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> In a red nose, open sleigh. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey, there's Daniel. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. He Raging through his... the slow. I get it. <laughs> he has his drop rage bear nice hat on. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Rrr, and like blood streams everywhere for some reason. Instead of blood spurting out the necks, yeah. <laughs> just it all gathers. And <laughs> she secretly, when she gets angry, she okay. gets like super perverted. And they see her back. Everybody's back. Yay. Yay. Everybody's okay. going everywhere. I oh, missed gosh. like everything you said after. It was just a recap, reminding you that uh, yeah. a boar ran off in this direction after doing like a gore yes. and run, as the chat said. Okay, hunt it. Uh, and it's probably very dangerous. Sweetie, sweetie, coming yep. for the bacon. Yep. <laughs> sweetie, sweetie. So, um, Leo's like, well, he's not too worried about boars. He's just like, we're on a Because they wagon. bore okay, him. Yeah. Oh. You guys are on a wagon and everything like that. Um, however, Zibble Mordendir kind of gets <gasps> nuzzled up on your shoulder and gets really close oh. to your, your dragon ear. And he's kind of like, ah, something feels weird about this place. I don't mean like tickly weird, but something's just not right here. <laughs> Does he do like a in her ear? Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> the tongue tickler. No, he, he's a banana wait, tickler. Wait, wait. He'll just summon one like really awkwardly <laughs> close to your ear, so you you know like when you when somebody has their finger near your ear and you know it's there, you kind of feel it, but you can't actually feel it. I'm sorry, it's really awkwardly close to mouths. No, that's just for Fia apparently. <laughs> So, can I do some sort of, like, nature check or something to find out what's so weird about it? Like, I, I wouldn't know boars, and obviously they wouldn't come out of the blue to attack someone on the road. So, you can give a survival check to kind of, like, see um, what's up with, like, any tracks or find any more stuff or, or even clues or stuff about that. But wouldn't I also be able to feel magic or something, some weird disturbance, imagine now that I'm an ultra no. type? No, 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 you have to have detect magic. Yeah. Zoom is the only one of us that has that right now. That's yeah, a survival check. You're tracking. Oh, right. Uh... Yeah, you got oh, the bad roll away. <laughs> so, not only do you see the current tracks uh, that of the board that kind of like went off, you find that the area is kind of uh, trampled over uh, as you venture maybe about... Um, 50 feet in this direction that um, maybe about four boars have been in this area kind of you see four different sets of prints one of them is particularly large maybe of a, a boar that's uh, a little really bigger big. than medium size I guess not quite like uh, 10 feet big but like somewhere be five, be between 5 to 10 feet guys that's Princess Mononoke <laughs> But they've been kind of rummaging in the area. You can see like little mud spots and, and all that kind of stuff. Some trampled underbrush. Hmm. Can I <clears throat> do an investigation check on the trees? To see if there's anything wrong or up with them. Um. Well, your survival check would cover that. No, I mean it, the the boars have kind of like rubbed against them and stuff like that, like normal for their tusks, but nothing nothing out of the norm. Okay. Hmm. Do you share the knowledge that Mordendir shared with you, Lumi? Sybil? 
Um, he just, I mean, didn't he basically just say that made him feel weird, too? It, well, he's just saying that something's really weird about the area, like something doesn't feel right, but he whispered it to you. Oh. Yeah, I feel like that would be relevant to the group. So I would be like, guys, um, my little buddy here, he doesn't like the way this place feels. He thinks something's wrong with it. So. Okay. Um. Hmm. Leo is going to extend out a detect magic. Uh, he basically, after a few minutes, shares that um, the lay energy is wild here. The whatever it is is extremely unstable. So the the lay stones definitely got to be uh, unbound. Not not nearby. Unbound. Uh, he knows it's not nearby. Um, oh, okay. You guys are still We're a still day a few away. Miles away. No, you're a day away from it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, he said, unlike name? the last one, the last one was fairly stable. It was just unbound. And this time, it's very unstable. <clears throat> so, my, sorry, you guys. If it's unbound, would I know what that means? Like, does that mean that it's like the magic is kind of going crazy and like. Yeah. Yeah, so like, around affecting things. It it could affect things. That's the weird thing about these ley lines is nobody knows exactly what they do except for act as a conduit for magical energy. So like, when you have a binding for the ley line, you're able to channel the energy to a direct spot. So okay. in this case, Lay's Crossing is the big city, and then you just have this ley line that you just bound, and then the next one is you guys are going to is like this. But if it's unbound, that means the ley line can be kind of like doing that kind of crap, and then oh, like okay. the next second it kind of goes like it's basically like plasma. So it's, it's an like invisible plasma. Around. Yeah, okay. so it's like going all kinds of places. And, and this is just general magic energy, or of yeah, the it's realm. A, like, it's it's the world's magical energy. These ley lines are a mysterious conduit of magical energy. Okay. There's a lot of rumors and theories about what they do and why they're there. But no one quite. Okay. Uh, and they has just a, found a way actual... to. Yeah, they found a way to organize them it. with the lay stones, basically. Okay, so we know all this is common knowledge with us. So the idea is that all the magic is kind of going crazy, and it's what I would would we be able to generally infer that that just means that like things might be going being affected around here, or they might. It, I mean, it's yeah. Uh, Leah a says, yeah, like the, because it is arcane uh, in nature, it could it could mess with magic, or it could Can cause some things to go weird. It could be the reason for these boars to all be kind of like attracted to the area. Who knows? But there's Can no defined thing that happens. Or... Yeah, knowledge arcana. Mm -hmm. And okay. he he basically explains like if you were to do a binding ritual on something like this, there while it's unstable um you risk <laughs> essentially like you could risk explosions or you could risk being turned into a kitten like it's just it's crazy what's oh, daisy shit. The, um, there is magical stuff in the air i can feel it i think there's magic here <laughs> i smell it's magic in the air me guys <laughs> i don't have control of my magic <laughs> It, you were just at the academy getting into the theoretical uh, or the theory of um, arcane magics and lay energy so you don't quite know what would happen either the, that, that's something for like tavern discussion over a drink at okay. the golden mass serious note taking Hmm. Uh, would my nature check, or survival check, sorry, tell me what kind of other animals would dwell in these woods? Uh, yeah, just your, it's a general assortment of, like, deer, um, as far as dangerous animals, maybe brown bears, uh, the occasional panthers, things like that. But other than that, it's just typical forest de dwelling creatures. Meanwhile, I'm just little... chatting I hope so. I, like <laughs> I don't want to get some in the woods. <laughs> I don't want to get surprised by, like, no freaking giant spiders that come out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> giant spiders of doom. 
<laughs> oh, giant brown bear spiders. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh. They're, uh... They're packing up? They're packing up. They're like, yeah, all right, well, good luck to you. Oh, gosh. And they kind of head on down. Me, me, me. As I race away. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess this year's not coming back, so we're just gonna. <laughs> hey, wait up. Okay, fun. I'll I'll no, I'll jump tree from tree. From tree oh my god! Just you guys like that. After a stream, I'm writing a note because we needed to tell you guys a story. It's after stream. I'm writing a note though. That's okay. An amazing story. Actually, can I be up next to Leo? Uh, yeah, we'll change it on the next map. Why not? Yeah. I'm getting my game noise out too. You guys get to see live editing in Roll20, so yeah. if you're wanting to get into Roll20, you can see how it is. I made uh, pretty much all the graphics that you see that are stars over here on the side are ones that I have made. There are a bunch of children outside going, ew, 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 <laughs> ew. And I don't know what happened. What kind of happened. dinner did y'all have? <laughs> children. We didn't feed them. <laughs> children. We ate children. That's what we say. They just discovered it, and that's why they're all like, ew. <laughs> Maybe it's only adults oh. discovering the children. <laughs> Fix her ass with that clicky mouse. Ew. Spoiler. Ew. 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 I do. Ew. All right. All the children pooped their pants. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Oh. Jack's had a bad one. No, today. let's just not even go into that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Gross. Save it for later. Jeez. <laughs> he was sitting in a basket. Alright. Oh, is it the black Oh, I remember you saying that. That basket had to be washed. <laughs> <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, there's a moving stump. <laughs> it's not a moving <laughs> stump. I'm, I'm marking difficult terrain. <laughs> What is it? Three ants. So like it's those the areas. From the last unicorn. So those areas, um, <laughs> you actually can't pass through. Or should we get into combat okay. or anything? Okay. So it's a wall of trees. No, no, no you could go um, like in these areas okay, between so, like, the stumps. You just can, can't pass can the stump. Yes. Behind the, yes. The yes, you can. Yes. All right. Drink of water. I want some water. Uh, clear his throat before he starts killing us all. Can mm -hmm. I have some? He's refreshing his vocal cords. Yep. <laughs> He's supposed well, to after um, a six hour like session yesterday. His mouth. Yeah. Alright. So you're traveling along the path. Just imagine, if you will, that there is some overgrown path underneath where the wagon is going. Um, if everybody can give me a perception check. No, no. Here we go. Oh, uh. <laughs> Yes! What? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Perception. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take the natural yes, one from a seer. <laughs> uh. uh <laughs> um. Oh, right. Actually, I have to roll as well. So. <laughs> Leo's trotting the, cot the, the cart forward. <laughs> Cut in the cock form? <laughs> no, I was going to say cot. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to take it that way. Okay. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> He's just walking around, guys. <laughs> Trotting it on out. Trotting it out. Note to self, make sure <laughs> the trots. dark language warning is written on this one. Alright. So, 
Everybody but Leo. But Leo. Leo. <laughs> you like ah! it in the butt. That's a big boar. That is not a boar. That is, that is something infected with the T virus. That's a giant Those rat. Are, stop Those are. Those <laughs> are. No, not my pony. That one's mine. The little <laughs> spot on his neck. Do we get reactions on this? Um, that's what I was gonna say. Is that, uh, Esir, Fia, see this? They see the three boars, the the two boars, and one freaking massive boar. Yep, one freaking massive boar. <laughs> How big was that? <laughs> Ten feet. Oh my Jeez. god. Um, charging at the horses and the, the wagon here. Um, Morden Deer's kind of like, hey, 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 uh, alerting Zibble to look, and then Zibble sees it. Uh, Leo's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't notice it at all. <laughs> yeah. So, push and shout to him. So, we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Um, I would say that Asir, um, you get to react first, then Fia, then Zibble. Okay. Um, since Magic Missile can hit three targets, since it has three darts or whatever, mm -hmm. can I split each of those darts into each three, you know, onto each, each of them? Yeah, you can hit each one of them. One of them? Each one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do, so... Uh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? There it is. Hopefully it knocks them back a little bit. It's a 12 versus AC mm -hmm. for 5 force damage. That's a hit on Ooh. this one here. So it takes 5 damage. The the bolt kind of like... <laughs> like you see the purple kind of get absorbed into the beast. Oh, and shit. it squeals out. <gasps> no, no, no. Not in that manner. Like it, it does damage and it squeals out. Go ahead and roll for the other small one. Whoa, this is a big one. <laughs> Magic missile crits. Oh my gosh. So, you Eight know what that, that means. Eight damage on that little one. <gasps> Strap hole! Don't tell yes. me it explodes all over us. It better not. Strap hole. <laughs> new awesome. mithril armor. No, I don't want it, it would only me. explode all over us if it was like... If it was me, I mean, right? Failure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Man, Azir's loving magic. This is great. <laughs> That's the official magic missile noise. Yeah, get a missile. Oh, pew, 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 pew. Everybody gets a missile. <laughs> Dude, Rook had a missile launcher that was like how many magic missile bolts was it? 75 magic missile bolts thrown at her what? once. Yeah. What? Brought it down yeah. to 1 HP. That's pretty one insane. 1 HP! <laughs> Alright guys, if you're uh, paying attention to the chat there. Okay. Oh! Ooh, so magic missile critical. <gasps> oh, Two small I'll, bolts yeah, to hit, uh, turn and flee. Ooh. I guess here gets an extra mm -hmm. bolt. Next the next bolt one does, does max, max damage. damage. Yeah, Even but what race. if the next bolt doesn't hit? Hmm. Too late. Yeah. I chose the good one. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, guys. You can oh, I can it. always hero point the next one to make it hit, so. Unless you roll a one. You can do it, guys. I it's okay. You, you have uh, one inspiration point. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to burn it this early. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're all set. Or hero points out, inspiration points out. So. All right, gonna give it uh, ten more seconds here. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, man, you know one of us. The more you vote, the better this gets. Hmm. Alright, looks like it is the two small boars 
turn and flee. Run away! Run away! Screw it! So I'm gonna go ahead and mark them as turn and, and I turn flee. To the, I turn to the pine and they go, they call me Tim. <laughs> what? Alright, go ahead and uh, make your attack against the bacon. Alright, here goes nothing. Do it, do it. Ooh, okay. Ooh. That was, it hit. It hit. It did hit. <laughs> um, oops. But it doesn't it seem like it did much. It just went. Like, oh. It's okay. The, the board kind of just like, boom. And like you see the the missile kind of like fade, like ricochet and fade a little bit. Damn. It's all right. Ads we need Bori. Yeah, we need Bori. Just throw your hammers. <laughs> Bori for the boars. Can I call on a Bori airstrike? <laughs> no. Beautiful. I'm on the back of the I need my, I need my like Bori kill Two hammers streak. just like hit the ground and bounce back up. <laughs> it's the level a ten. Bori airstrike. Like, all right, Bori. You get um, you get one action. Can I immediately jump over and like? Let Leo know and like try to steal. <laughs> Just imagine her like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Leo, <laughs> look at him, groupie jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're you're gonna alert Leo. Yeah. So he's like, um, yeah. But wouldn't, but wouldn't it make casting magic missile right in front of him be more than obvious? Well, it's all happening at the same time. Yeah, same six uh, seconds, so it's not like... The whole round boop, boop, boop. is all six seconds. So it went seconds. slow-mo, yeah. Max Payne style, and I just went... Yeah, Skrr. yeah, you're yeah. like... Skrr. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she jumps through the air. <laughs> Alright. Um. <clears throat> I dodged the magic missile, says, as I jump. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Zibble's turn. <laughs> Morden Deer has a turn? Yeah, Morden Deer has a turn, of course. He put a banana? He yeah, he <laughs> dropped a banana there. If anything, it'll make it slip and hit the horses harder. <laughs> I believe Let me you, see. Uh, I got you. I got you back. It's covered in bananas. Does a banana stuff get up and do the Little peanut butter jelly song? Because Zibble's at the back of the cart. Little do we know, like, whenever someone goes behind her, she has just, like, a whole thing of bananas. In He's her just bananas. Her. <laughs> Hmm. No, he's, like, summoning it and hoping it's going to drop at the uh, boar's feet. Yeah, he summons bananas. <laughs> Whoa, paranoid. Lumi is paranoid. Something's going on. Hold on. Okay. okay. PRB. Pause combat. Burbs. I hope the kids are not chanting some satanic ritual Probably outside. Probably are. <laughs> they're, they're calling the for more than <laughs> Oh my god. They're like, more in there. More in there. Now you have to oh, say his name god. backwards, which is oh, Ridned Norb. And you gotta Rid say it three times in front of a mirror like Bloody Rid Mary. Rom. There we go. Ridned Rom. Ridned Rom. <laughs> he has one spell, and that is summon banana. Well, two spells, really. <laughs> His mo most summon used one. Summon banana and summon banana in mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, summon banana in suppository. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a boop, and you don't see a banana. <laughs> and you see the eye just go. <laughs> Did you just shit my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes. He wakes up the next yes, morning with a banana in his ass. Mm hmm. <laughs> a bruised banana. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, gross. If we ever get to subscriber level, that's gonna have to be one of my uh, emotes is a bruised <laughs> banana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're doing this. We're <laughs> subscribers. Oh, <my> <laughs> I think that'll be my next spell when I level up. Summon banana. <laughs> Summon banana. It's, it's a pretty amazing spell. <laughs> Just what an eldritch knight needs. Of course, yeah. Yep. Always banana. Imagine how. Imagine <laughs> I'm, I'm summon dancing banana. banana. That's summon. beautiful. That'd be the best thing. Like, I can do a stealth, right? Summon banana at their feet. They'll go, oh, what is this? And lean over to take a look, and I'll sneak right past them. They won't see me. They're busy looking at the bruised banana. 
So he gets he'll he'll learn uh, summon peanut butter and summon baseball bat or summon peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> summon, summon baseball bat. <laughs> summon baseball bat. <laughs> That's actually useful. What are you saying? Wait. Summon peanut butter and jelly's not. If you got some bread, boom, you got a sandwich. But what if you don't have bread? Boom, you've got something to gobble down. <laughs> you, got you got a banana. You got a banana, you can dip it in. Let's hope uh, Zibble's house is not on fire. Yeah. <laughs> More than near the great firestorm. It's so <laughs> Is materialized in our plane oh, of existence. What? You have any more of those? No. Wow. That I sucks. I only had one. That sucks. I found it in my drawer. It's very, like, it Moist. is not. That's a bad instigator. Because the rapper <laughs> says, be mischievous, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Show it to everybody. Oh my hey, god. Let me, let me, let me uh, focus. Focus. Focus your chocolate. Yeah, paper. while while Lumi's away. Uh, actually. The, uh, the information's below the video as to who's doing what. Hit, 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 hit. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Be mischievous. mischievous. It feels good. It feels good. That is some bad chocolate. Uh. Or good chocolate, depending on your outlook. Yeah. <laughs> depending on how much calories you feel like burning the next day. Well, it was dark chocolate and sea salt Ooh. caramel. Ooh. Yeah. I like normal caramel better, but it was free. In the meantime... <laughs> Fire. Let's Particle effects. Piggies. That's beautiful. <laughs> what else do that we should do here? when we do pause like this. You should have like a like a production TV production crew drawn. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I should do that. I should draw our characters. <laughs> All sitting in like oh, all the seats, reading the script. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Explosion! Technical difficulties. <laughs> Can you recreate the flame that Fear did? Yes, the other time we played. The, the scorching blaze. A freaking. <laughs> the scorchy scorch scorch. Hell's fire, great fire. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's not the right one. Oh. She uh, she did a 15 foot cone. I'm gonna find that one. We've got blast templates now that I'm subscribed to you to uh, to you 20 to uh, roll 20. I just saw the 15. back of this game case, Tony. Look at that thing. Hang on a second. There we go. That's what it was. Something like that. Oh, cool. Yeah, so... <laughs> Kaya is all over that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, Daniel. Look at that monster. Oh my god. Tall. I really wish I had a capture card for my DS. Hey. Giant chameleon monster. Mm-hmm. Do me, why in combat? Why? <laughs> Alright, so this I'm gonna take over for now. Take over for now. So I'm gonna take over for her for now. And I need to have to open up her character sheet. See what spell she's got. I'm gonna use a cantrip. Um, perfect time to try sleep. Ooh. Yes. So, sleep. Focus it all on that is, big guy. Yeah, 90 feet, so freaking. She's barred. DC 13. <laughs> she needs a chat macro. Do not attack. Put the yeah. circles <laughs> upside. <Yeah. laughs> Alright. So Attention it has to make a... One. <laughs> Do not disturb. Here. It gets... What's the save? 
The save is ultra high. He can't beat it. 20 foot radius. So he's going to circle it away. No, sleep would be stupid because it's also going to get the little boars. But can't you focus it on oh, the target? We can... No, no, no. It takes, it's within a 20 foot radius. Uh... I thought you could focus it because then... Do it anyways, we can... One, once they're all asleep, to... we can kill them while they're asleep, yeah. so it's all good. No, well, it might not get all of them because it's up to a certain hit points. So yeah. instead, uh... she's going to do dissonant whispers and hurt its brain head. Oh. Is it an intelligent creature, though? Uh-huh, it's target creature. And she's going to target the large boar. And... Wisdom safe, there we go. Minus two to this roll, it fails and takes three d six psychic 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 damage. Louis back. I see her. I saw her in the window. <laughs> to the wall. Smashing the people up. So it's... Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I will continue to play as yeah, Zibble. Play as Zibble until they find their kitty. 13 damage as it screeches out, but it doesn't stop. Don't hit my horsey. Alrighty. Um, it's everybody, everybody's action. Leo manages to move the cart forward. Yay! Some. Oh, so okay. the back end gets T-boned. Great. Just gonna clip us. <laughs> yeah, good work, Leo. Oh, NCAP 5 star NCAP safety rating wagon will totally save us from a charging <laughs> boar. <laughs> it's just a pit. It's fine. Alright, let's see if he hits. People have recovered from pit maneuvers. It's, uh. Uh huh. <laughs> not got much of an AC here. It's got to hit an 8. It's oh, got boy. a. Mm. Plus 3 to that, so it hits. What about the banana? Oh, yeah. I'll give it uh, disadvantage. Nope, it crit rolled with the other. Because oh, the banana lands in front of it. But even with a low roll, it hits. Um, dealing. Eight damage to the cart. Ooh. What's the cost total? We don't know. Oh. I know, you don't. <laughs> banana crit. Um, banana crit. Banana gets squished. <laughs> it rams the cart. I need a dexterity throw from everybody. Oh god! How tall is this boar? Can I? Six do I have to do dex, or could I use a skill that has dexterity? It's dexterity save. Mm. Yeah. Acrobatics. Oh, because I'm jumping on the back of Leo. Wow. Double fours. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. Gotta roll for Zibble. Actually, that's three fours. Gotta roll for. I've already rolled for Zibble. Um, so it's nine. Uh, Leo has just enough to manage to stay holding. Uh, Fia definitely. Or not Fia. Uh, Zibble definitely doesn't. So. That knocks. Zibel. If it knocks Zibble out with prone. the force of it. She should land on the back of the boar. <laughs> Try riding. <Prone. laughs> and where's my other prone? Where, where are you? There we go. Prone. Hey, Seer. So prone. You get knocked off since you're at the edge. Oh! Oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah, I need a saving, uh, strength saving throw if you're knocked off. You're going to be knocked Man. prone. But... I'm going to do hero point for that seven just to okay. make it right. Bump it up a little bit. 26. 11. 11. Yeah, be back real quick. Is not enough. Oops. Get back over here, thing. Prone. <laughs> Surprise, everybody. Not for you. to survive. That's what we do now. Just remember that standing up uses up 
an action. And no, it uses up five a feet move. of movement. Yeah. I thought standing uses up your whole move. Mm -mm. Oh, sweet. So just five foot of it? Yep. Awesome. Morton Deer just started floating, like, started flying there. Just, eh, screw the falling. Mm hmm. That's where hovering is amazing. Do you need us to do initiatives? No. No, it's just them, or they went, then you go. Oh, wait, no, I do. Actually, I'll need. Yeah. Um, you want me to roll? Yeah, it's because whoever's the highest. Ooh, I got a 10. Take that. No! Yep, yeah, so far as it was the highest, I'm waiting for a seer to get back. Time. Mm-hmm. Sleepy time. I really wish I could stream Monster Hunter. Me too. It'd be amazing. I want to stream it so bad. Uh, if you guys are in Hearthstone, I'll be streaming it tomorrow from like uh, 11 to 6 Eastern. I'm going to get the daily quest to done. Mm -hmm. When and it's the 10 to 5 with me because he's going to... Oh. <laughs> so that's 10 to 5. <laughs> it's 10 to 5 for us. I guess you can go ahead and get a snack. I don't. Go, go have ahead and get a snack. Anything. No, go ahead, find something. I'll I have just, a pepperoni uh, stick. I'll oh. just, I'll just wait here. Sorry about that. Oh okay, wait, so I have a friend come back. <laughs> I'll roll my initiative real quick. Okay. I was playing sad music because she was going to leave and find some food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, he, but you're back now, so... Yep. Well, okay. Sears initiative is the highest. Let me roll for the four. So what happened, what happened with my strength saving throw? You failed it. Huh. All right, so... Borg goes second with a 14. Whoa, 174. <laughs> it goes first. Whoa. <laughs> It's the fastest boar in the universe. Activate in all of gun. them. <laughs> it used its tail emeralds to go supersonic. It's it's secretly the spiral king. <laughs> roll, so roll, cool. fight the power. <laughs> all right. So, uh, you guys get to act first. Um, you have to use five feet of movement to not be prone, and then you okay, can yep. use the rest of your movement. So twenty-five. I still have plenty of movement then. Yeah. So in that case, I'll go 20 feet. Um, so I'll go 22 feet that way. <laughs> That's about 22 feet. And I'm going to use, where is it? Witch Bolt. Witch oh, no. oh, oh, Bolt. Yeah. Yeah, Witch Bolt. It, it. Witch Bolt. <laughs> You know, burn the, the witch bolt. Amazing bowl. one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, a range of 30 feet. Check. Um, components, yeah, got them. Just Wait, stay within material line of component. Sight of it. Yeah. Will that be in line of sight of it, Tony? Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here it goes the witch bolt. The witch bolt? Oh, 20 versus yeah. AC hits. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> so it says duration one minute, so I can keep it going continuously. Flat. Yeah, you have yeah. to concentrate. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you cast another that, so concentrate I'll be like, spell, then you wouldn't be able to do it. Um, yes. Yep. Yeah. So I'll I'll be like to the thing concentrating, going <laughs> as lightning shoots out of your middle finger. Well, <laughs> if you have another spell that does not require concentration, you can still cast it. Yeah. Oh, so like fireball. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's uh, being electrocuted, squealing loudly. Um, Fia, 
Yes. So I'll let you go while I look at Zibble's options. Okay. Um, I'm going. Right, to no, no, no. What I'll do is uh, I will have Zibble stand up, move to the back of the card. Sorry. Um, and she will. Class inspiration. Yeah, she's gonna. I was looking for it. Class. Okay. Yeah, she'll give you Bardic Inspiration, which is an extra one d six that oh. you can use within the next uh, ten minutes, I believe. Yeah, it lasts for ten minutes. And let me look. I don't think that's the. Actually, I'm more than this. So page ninety eight. That's what I need to make note of. Hard stuff. Brr, clicky mouse time. Not clicking. Mm hmm. Clicky, clicky. All right, she has. Okay, it doesn't change. It just has number times equal to your. Charisma modifier, which is still the same, so three times a day. Okay, so yeah, she's used up one of those. So she does that for you as a bonus action, and then she will... Defensive action, I believe. Where's the cheat sheet at? She will And then Where's it this no no just need to dodge. There we go. Ah. I think that's it. Yeah, um you get advantage on something or whatnot? Yeah. Attacks made against are made at a disadvantage. So yeah, she's gonna dodge. Should have dodged. Oh. Alright. So you're going to stand up? Yeah, I'm going to stand up. Get up, stand up. Stand and, up for um, it, right. Do some burning hands over the side there. Okay. That will create electric fire! Oh, oh yeah. shit! Alright, go ahead and roll me a 1d100. Nice! <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. Second time. As you begin happened. to cast... Um, the spell, Leo looks back and you can see a worry in his eyes as when you see flame shoot forth a small bolt of lightning kind of cracks like Wait, three feet for me? No. Oh, oh, okay. a small bolt of lightning cracks but it's like this pink bolt that extends three feet <laughs> no no <laughs> Seventy-seven. I need an adult. I am an adult. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Um. Yes, turn into a dragon. <laughs> Just a second. Let me pull this up. Are you playing Heroes of the Storm? <laughs> <laughs> I got mid. Doesn't make the flame. Green flame. <gasps> Green flame. Green flame. Feel the flame. Feel the flame. Feel the I'm really scared, Tony. You're scrolling <laughs> a lot. Okay. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear you scrolling as well. It's yeah, I had to read up the okay. saving throw. <laughs> saving throws. <laughs> yeah. What are you reading saving throws for? <laughs> it's, it's, um, your spells are based charisma, correct? Yes. What's your proficiency bonus? Four? Three. I think it's... Look it up. How, your proficiency bonus. Up? Go into your character sheet. Yeah, yeah. Core stats. Making us nervous. Making us two. very nervous. Okay. Wait, how is it two? That's just what it is. It doesn't go <coughs> up fast. Okay. Oh, I have it right in front of me. Yeah, it's two. Um, so it's ten plus three is thirteen. 
Who do you add? Plus some. Okay, so I need a wisdom saving throw. Oh god. <laughs> I'm really scared. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh god! Hero right. point! Hero point! Ah, I think I'm gonna hero point. Are you sure? Do, do I want a hero point? I can't tell you. No, it's it's after results. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I can tell you that right now it's a failure. That's the result. Twelve. Yep, yeah, that's twelve. Alright, just a second. Do I not go insane? Yeah, you don't go insane. Okay, thank you. Do I not kill myself? You don't kill yourself. Thank you. Do I kill Does anyone she... else? Ugh. Better tell me. Wait, what is he doing? Must <laughs> 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 what? As the spell goes off. <laughs> Did I polymorph myself? You polymorph yourself into a sheep. Did my spell go off at least? Am I a fire mm -mm. breathing sheep? Mm -mm. Oh my god. So it did nothing to the yeah, boar. It it started going off and then <laughs> Wild magic took over and Leo was trying to say something and then <laughs> sheep. Uh, for a few days. Seriously? <laughs> no. Oh my god. Don't do that. Don't scare me. It lasts, um, for an hour. Uh, uh. Seriously? Yeah, but you get to save each round. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and Warden Deer goes, Wow, now that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and... Leo. <laughs> oh my god, I am so sorry, Leo. <laughs> so, whenever I get you into Hearthstone, we're gonna go ahead and let you be a mage. Oh my god. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> Why can't I have the good parts of the wild magic table? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I get turned into a sheep. What does that mean, Leo, now? At least. He's not a farmer. <laughs> no, he's a New Zealander. Yeah. He's into sheep. <laughs> several bolts uh, from Leo shoot... Or shoot from Leo, uh, several bolts of magic missile. Seals! 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 Nope. Ba ba tiefling sheep, do you have any wool? <laughs> They'll, they'll sing nursery rhymes about this. <laughs> Alright. And the boar falls over dead. As the yeah. third missile hits it and the other few keep going. <laughs> Overkill. Um. Brutalize it. Yep. Where's that? Blech. I'm gonna go over and investigate it. <laughs> so I'll check it out. Why <laughs> that was like almost too I bad. Now <laughs> oh, you're frozen on my screen. So I want to yeah. check. <laughs> I want to check out why it's all <laughs> demonic looking and stuff like that. Can I make my save? So do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do your save, go. <laughs> so we'll do okay. these saves. One, so do two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, do I get another save? Yeah. He, uh, give me <laughs> an investigation check. Oh. Or an no, medicine check is what it would be, because you're trying to figure out what's up. Okay. Good, because I didn't do that good investigation. Because it was thoroughly confused. Huh. Um, you've got no clue why this boar is all crazy-like, but it's you do discern that it's completely natural. It's not like it, it's a hell boar or anything. It's just... Oh. So really some sort of mutation. Freaking, yeah, that huge boar. Happened. So those plates on... Uh, that's bone plate, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Zibble chimes in. She's like, I've studied this before. Sometimes animals can be uh, much lar larger, much larger version of, them, of what you would normally see. They're called dire. So oh, this, shit. This is a dire boar. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, 
Luckily, they don't really show up in com like in large numbers. Um, this dire boar is probably like the alpha that was in this area. I'm gonna collect its skull in that case. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna spend about 15 minutes hacking through that. Uh, that neck plate and everything, yeah. Leo's How many like, saves do I get during Leo that time? Leo turns to to feel. But what I do is I do like, something really cool. <laughs> He I goes, imbue my sword with the firebolt and quarterize as I cut. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. He, he, you make a light sword. Light yeah. Sword. Uh, Leo's like, light I'm not saber. a farmer, and aid you on your check. <laughs> save, so you have advantage on your next save. He pulls out a shaver. A shear. I want a uh, shear. I want a good pillar. Did I get it? Yeah, you got it. Pulling wool out my clothes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's all like Hitchhiker's Guide. Where you're like, oh, oh gosh, God, that, that was so weird. <laughs> and now the fireball goes off. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> or that, that <laughs> was it burning hands. His ears just like. <laughs> I'm just gonna like take the wool out and look over Leo. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Something real quick. Yeah, I thought dire animals were way harder to kill. Well, uh, Leo hit it with four really strong bolts. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Yep, yeah, did a nice chunk of damage to it. Maybe, maybe you're, you're level four now, so. You, yeah, yeah you that's are true. Level four. The other part of the challenge, you scared off with your magi yeah, missiles. Yeah, it would have been a lot, mm -hmm. a lot worse. So no. Right away. Alright, so you leave the headless carcass behind and I slip its hinge head into my pocket. And the rest of the travel kind of goes by without you guys having too much problems. Like, you see some small boars, but there's nothing up to that size. Mm. Um, <laughs> on, on the way, I'm trying to... Sorry, you go. Yeah, it's no problem. Um, travel on to the night... There reminds me so much of civilization. What's I that? see the hexagons, the like the, the tiles. Mm -hmm. Makes it feel like we're playing civilization. Oh right. Mm -hmm. Um, so you travel on into the night. I'm just gonna go ahead and put you guys on this hex. Um, through the night, you actually stumble across what seems to be a small cabin. Oh. Um, I do not like lone cabins in the woods. Yeah. yeah. This is what happened with Rook. It's cabin in the woods. Just Sweden is gonna kill us. Rampaging unicorns. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even seen the movie. All I know is there's a unicorn that impales somebody. Yep, stabs a dude right in the stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's like how people went to the um, Pirates of the Caribbean movie, the On Stranger Tides with the mermaids, expecting them to be like, you know, oh, Disney mermaids, awesome. And they did the semi-realistic, uh, I guess, quote-unquote, yeah. form of moment where they're eating people and yep. stuff. And, like, Pull them down and a them. whole bunch of kids were crying and stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like the same thing with succubus, isn't it? Know, like, historically, mm -hmm. they're said to be really disgusting and ugly, but yeah. it wasn't until recently when people sexed them up a little bit. Yeah. Make sure everybody can... See the way they're supposed to see. <laughs> uh, I bet if like a mermaid asks you, he's like, "I don't eat seafood. I'm mm -hmm. out. I don't want to swim with the fishes." No. Okay, there we go. Yeah, folklore is crazy. It's terrifying. What do is this? Mm-hmm. Uh, is anybody going to study or approach the cabin? Um, I will. Do... I'm. I tell them all to hang back. Okay. Yes, go ahead. And I will approach the cabin at night. Okay. At night. So what I'm gonna do is use this map and kind of set up a camp here.
Mm. He's gone for a walkabout. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, I read that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Alright. So, I see her. Um, I'll you... shift. Okay. And stealth my way up to the cabin. Are we supposed to be on a different map? Nope. Okay. And I'll hero point that just to make sure. Only because a seer sees to come point. to this. <gasps> Only a seer sees? Mm hmm. Alright. But I can't 16, study the cabin from a 19. No. You guys camped far enough away that the cabin will, whatever's at the cabin won't see your oh, okay. uh, camp light. Alright, so this is what you see so far. You know that the cabin's further up here, but it's got no lanterns on or anything like that inside. I see dead people. Might want to get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible affliction now that I think of it. Alright, so what do you do? I'm gonna get something in my mind. Well, okay. it's still all black for me, so... Oh, is it? Are you... Yeah. No, scroll down to the uh, bottom left. Or bottom right. Yeah, it's still all black. Ah. Ah, there we go. Okay. Checkbox the wrong thing. Yep. So, with this 19 to stealth, I can... Be pretty sneaky, right? Probably. I can't tell you the exact results, but uh, it doesn't seem like you've been found by anything that might be here. Can I do a perception check for any traps or anything? Yeah, absolutely. Do you see anything beyond uh, like this point? Um, the first I can see it's like is just around here. And here. Tony, I'm gonna go wherever, but I have some gaps in the street, okay? Okay, if they have any of those little brownies left, can you grab me one? Yeah. I'll grab me a few. Alright, um. You spot a little bit of a door in the distance. Mm -hmm. Um. There are some rather decent sized uh, human footprints that go out towards the trail. Um, okay. You can roll a survival to kind of see how long it's been since they've gone. Yep, do that definitely. But I can't tell because I'm stupid now. <laughs> um, it, it is a little hard to tell. Um, just with all the, the the looseness of the soil and everything like that, they've kind of been like muddled up, I guess. Okay. Yep. So, it's it's at least been a few hours. You know that much. Yep. So in that case, I'm just gonna tippy toe. To... And I don't spawn any traps or anything, round trees or anything like that. Mm -hmm. okay. So in that case, I'm gonna go behind this tree. Mm -hmm. Um, how how tall is this tree? Um, beyond twenty feet tall. Okay. And the cabin's just a regular cabin. Mm -hmm. It's okay. a it's a good sized cabin, but yeah, I mean each square is five feet, so. Okay. Um. So, I'm gonna go around the back up here. And can I go through this side of the tree? Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm gonna do another perception check to see if I see anything else. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Even though it's there. a critical failure, no, you, you don't see um, anything out of the ordinary, no. There's actually not really uh, the only tracks you notice is like a small, a couple of small boar tracks. Okay. Yep. This <laughs> is scary. <laughs> All by myself. And this tree I'm coming up to now. How mm -hmm. tall is that? About the same. Yeah. Uh. In the distance, you see something hanging from this tree. Oh. Do I have to roll perception to see it? 
if you want to get good detail, yeah. Yeah, it goes nothing. There we go. That's better. It looks like it's just carcasses of like animals that whatever lives here has uh, left out to kind of bleed out. Looks like a deer and maybe something else. <laughs> that makes a zero mad. Because when he when he hunts and kills something, he does it with honor and pride. He doesn't leave stuff to bleed. No, no, no. Like, it's not dying. It's been dead. He's just yeah. letting the body drain. Yeah, no, I don't like that. That's that's filthy. How's that filthy? <laughs> You're letting it bleed out all over the place in its like, own blood. No, no, no. Like, I guess to dry is what I should say. Like, it's okay. been, like, gutted and all that kind of crap, but it's it's out Okay, that makes more sense now. To, to carve at a later time. It's a fresh kill. Okay. That makes way more sense. Okay. Alright, so... I'm going to do another perception to see... In, oh wait, would the 19 cover looking into that window? Or is it just dark inside? It's dark inside. There's no light. Okay. And even with dark vision, I wouldn't be able to see him. Yeah, you'd have to like go up to the window to see him. Well, I'll finish scoping out the As place. you get closer, though, you realize that they look like they're shuttered. Oh, okay. So. Keep sneaking about. Keep sneak. Oh, I found a magic, magic message. One square equals five feet. Oh, what does this mean? So, you see more of a dirt trail there. Awesome. Thank okay. You. I'm going to do... And is there, like, footprints in it? Mm hmm. Now, do, what was it? The nature check. It's kind of like auto. Oh, so I will check the survival. Okay. Yep, survival. Yeah, finally. 2020 vision. Um, he was back here probably about two and a half hours ago. Kind of all over the place. This is. He was. It looks like his, most of his activity was around this tree. He kind of seems to have walked up the path there and then walked back inside. Okay, so, uh, and with my stealth, I'm not leaving any footprints myself, am I? No, you're not trying to. Okay. All right. So, and still nothing through the window okay, at all. Grace. What's that? Nothing through the window at all. No. All okay. the windows are shuttered closed. Okay, so I'm just going to sneak past and not disturb the dirt. Uh, come around here. Hide in this tree for a little bit. Okay. Come down here. And there's nothing out of the ordinary here either. Mm -mm. Alright. Well, I'm just going to make a perception check just to make sure. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. You still exploring the house? Yeah, I'm going around the outside of it. Outside, so I'm gonna, outside. I'm gonna come into these trees and just kill myself for a little bit, click my thoughts on what I've seen, and. Hey, it sounds like our backyard. <laughs> oh, I heard a sheep there. Yeah, it must be nearby. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head back to the rest of the group. Okay. Do I have to do anything else to make a check back or? Mm -mm. Yeah. And I know for certain there's probably human footprints everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Are you back on the uh, no. the map there? Yeah, I am. Awesome. What so no weird you? smells about the place or anything. Mm -mm. Is it just a hut? Yeah, it's just a. Uh, it seems like it was a hut. Anything in it? So, and they're all asleep, yeah? Well, Zibble might be. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you step it's close, you can, you can hear from Zibble's tent. You can hear. <laughs> Firestone! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You can't hear anything from Thea fear. and Leo's tent. I wonder why. I wonder who casts silence. So, silence. So, I'm gonna climb up a tree and just 
to on one of the branches overlooking the encampment. Okay. There you go. I needed more brownies than that. <laughs> you said a couple. I gave you two couples. Give me three. Oh, well, I gave you a third wheel. I said a few. Want me to do another perception check? Actually, before I climbed up the tree, can I put out the fire? You also smoothly pointed that out to me a few streams ago when someone called Thea stupid for not knowing what a few was. (laughs) So, (laughs) ha. So, there. I dimmed it to make sure that was a... Yeah. A rat. Yeah, if you wanted to... um, kind of like be on the lookout you do have to make a perception, perception. Uh, I, I want to hear a point it but at the same time I don't but I think I will anyways so I've used one before to make the stealth check so it brings me down to four um, one, two, six so it brings up to 16 perception. All right. So that's a 16 perception and distance. And am I still kind of stealth up in the tree? Uh, you'd have to make a stealth check to be stealth in the tree. Yeah. Can I do that now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So you. I kind of make a lot of noise, rustling the trees a bit. <laughs> you fall out of the tree. No. You, no. you kind of like <laughs> you're shifting around the tree when you see uh, at a distance somebody kind of peering through and looking over the camp. And he sees me, yeah? That's a possibility. But he's like, he looks like he's just kind of like studying the entire camp. He's not going any further than, than from under that tree. Well, if he does, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to shift my eyes for the aesthetic look and use the moonlight to reflect if he sees me. <laughs> to scare him a little bit. But, um... Um, can I do the predator clicking noises to intimidate him? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm just a birdie too! <laughs> <laughs> so you start making the clicking noises and kind of like start coughing instead and you break your stealth? Oh no. Oh, oh, what was that? Zibble! Zibble comes looking out. And. Let's leave it at the computer and still disconnects. Oh my god! This is perfect! Oh my god! Tonight is so much better. Oh my god. Brilliant. <laughs> Damn bird icon. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Zibble looks around like, what the hell's going on? There was someone in that bush. <laughs> what was noise? <laughs> did you see, Did she looks look, looking for anybody. Did you see that, she says. I, I kind of just go, <laughs> he's gone now. And I go back to sleep. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I kind of just like, I don't say anything until I just go, uh, forget it. And I'm going to go back into the tree and go back to look out. What let did them you find? Around. I go, I, okay. I lean down and go, I think there was a person stalking us through these forests. We're not the only things here, aside from boars. What? The cabin, there's a cabin up ahead with fresh footprints. I'm guessing it's the same person. We're being stalked? Well, he followed me here, so... Take the others. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wouldn't worry about it. He's lo uh, He probably followed me here. I wouldn't worry about it. He's gone now. It didn't look like he had much on him anyways. It's probably just so another outlander like me. <laughs> she kind of nervously goes back to her tent. <laughs> what do you do? I'm going to make another perception check. Okay. Um, he's off the map, but you can still see that he's, like, over in this direction, peeking his head over a bush. <laughs> and he knows I'm here now because Zibbles talked to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move branches. I'm going to go, like, over... Over towards here. Okay. <laughs> so you want me to do an acrobatics or something? No. No, you can take your time and kind of navigate through the tree pretty easily. Right. And he's still watching, huh? Yeah, but he's not watching you specifically. He's just, like, looking at over the cam trying to figure out what's up. Alright, so I'm going to go to the next tree to my right. It's <laughs> <That's> huge! <laughs> Jeez. No, just, don't freak <laughs> out when I drag a turkin on. Give me a second. <laughs> It's D and Z with you as the GM. I'm freaking out whenever <laughs> anything happens. Those leaves. So he's he's moving back. Out. He moves back, back closer, and just kind of like keeps a watch on the camp. And while I'm watching him. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching no, no. me. And he looks at me. And I look <laughs> at <Wait>. him. <laughs> he looks at me. And I look at him. Uh. Okay, he just um, he keeps studying. I am. Well, let me see my weapons. I still got my crossbow, right? Mm -hmm. So can I shoot it near his feet, like I kind of did to Morindir when he was getting closer to the campfire? Yeah. To scare him off. Right. Attack. Aim for like there. Yep. And that was my one bolt I had left. <laughs> I just you kept it loaded like, this entire time. I have 50 of them. So it hits. And he kind of just... These are my woods! <laughs> Leave Does he now! Know <laughs> oh. Does he so he's a beast hide shifter or something. No, he like... You hear popping and crunching and all kind of stuff as his bones shift. And so he's a shifter. Yeah, and he reaches back from his back and pulls out this huge freaking mace. He's he's something more than a shifter, it's a actually. Boar. Oh, so can I? Right, I'm gonna. Hmm. Would the trip back walking make me regain my shifting abilities? Uh, <laughs> just no, walking it wasn't casually. A short rest, no. Yeah. Right. So I'm just gonna hop out of the bush. Is he is he like aggressive? Like is he running up to attack? Ah, he's getting closer. He's going for a caravan. Stop. <laughs> can I tackle him? I'm going to run up and tackle him. <laughs> uh, you can, but you have just made your surprise round action by firing the arrow. So he gets okay. an action against this tent, which is immediately crushed in. And uh, you awaken... You and, like, you and Leo awaken <laughs> to the tent collapsing on you guys, and you guys are stuck in a tent. And all you hear outside is... <laughs> Girls. I am freaking out. I will scream. <laughs> so, uh, now we roll initiative. <laughs> Zibble gets to roll initiative now, too. Oh, man. Look at that six. All the way from the 21 to initiative, though, six. So it's okay. Boop. Yay. Let's go, Zibble. Let's go. I thought I hit it. Oh, because I don't have her token selected. Yeah, you gotta click that and roll. There we go. What'd you get? I didn't get to roll it yet, I had to click your token. Hey, oh. I roll her. Alrighty, and then he rolls.
Alright, so you may go ahead and act if you want to, Aesir. He's not there. He ran off on us. He saw that thing and was like, nope. There he is. He broke the everything all of a sudden. Sorry about broke that. The everything. Okay, so you can act if you want to now, he's here. Okay, so... Hmm. So I'll have to make some sort of strength check if I'm going to, like, spirit tackle him down to the ground, huh? Uh, well, you have to hit his... Uh, you have to actually make the attack first. Okay. And, uh, yeah, if you wanted to uh, push him also, down, it's not okay. an actual attack, it's the... Um... Well, I think he's trying to, like, jump on him and grapple. Yeah, 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 so what you're doing is the shove, shove aside kind of thing. You're trying to knock him prone. No, isn't it just a grapple? No. It, it so is... I don't have that ability. What's that? Don't I need, like, a grapple feed or something to help yeah. out with that? Well, it's not that. Like, are you just trying to knock him down prone? Yeah. Yeah, so oh, what okay. you're doing is it's the shove or shove aside action. And so you have to hit him, and then it's a strength versus strength or dex. I guess. I can just roll, like, my greatsword, for example, to do that first part. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty good. So you hit. Go ahead and give me a strength sec. Strength save. <laughs> I'm actually going to use my, uh, inspiration for this. This could be really cool. Okay. So you get to have advantage on that, which means straw pull time. Woo! Yay! Straw pull! Unless he gets himself a crit. Nope. Like, jeez, if, even if he's, like, kind of a shifter, I don't want to kill him. Yeah. Like, we're here to fix the laystone, we're not kill the inhabitants. Yeah, like, this This is this guy living in the woods. He's not, like, you know, a tiger trying to eat us. Yeah. He's just a disgruntled aborigine. <laughs> My land. Yeah, <laughs> grab me another horn, huh? Uh. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Yes, mm, I disarm mm, him of his mm. more. Disarm. <laughs> Look at oh, that freaking skyrocket. Oh man, instant four votes. It's my buddy, bud. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. He's a bro. Oh gosh, a hundred percent. All right, that don't even stand a chance. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> if pins, I go to the castle, I'll we're just gonna go with that one right off the bat. He pins the boar man down, and disarms him of the maul. Of them all. Now, can I just... I know I can't shift fully, but can I just shift my face to show him that I'm one of him, basically? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you can do, like, a small shift. Yeah. And I tell him just to relax. We're not here to invade or do anything. So... We're just passing through. Hang on a second. I'm gonna have to refresh the stream real quick, because I've got this you. random button. Yeah, right, no worries. Up there. Um, but what I will do is mark him real quick and refresh. He looks like... There we go. There we go. I 
There we go. He kind of looks like he's in the fetal position because of constipation. You, you need to mute your mic. <laughs> I thought I did. My bad. <laughs> there you go. All right. So you knock him down, knock him prone, you're over top of him, and you you do your little bit of shifting, and um, you're going to have to wait to his turn to get the reaction. Uh, Fia and Leo, you are currently stuck I'm in the collapsed tent. out of this tent. <laughs> this is like the tiny net of doom in Kung Pao. <laughs> so, Fia, or, uh, Leo's going to aid another on getting you out first. Okay. And I want to try to get him out. Well, you gotta get out first, because he's aiding you. Oh, okay, well, what do I need to get out? You need to roll, um... Is panic. it, um, dexterity? Yeah. I know this because Aoka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are able to get out. Ah! No! And Leo follows suit. <laughs> And I'm obviously get like, off. Calm get, down, get out of calm here. Down. Jeez. <laughs> I am trying to be at the corner of this tent. Okay. Zibble comes out and is just like, what the hell's going on? Burn him! I, I mean, what's going on? That's Morden, dear. <laughs> <laughs> did I, did it sounded like he said, burn him! <laughs> he kind of did. I'm like patting my hair down and straightening my dress. <laughs> <laughs> like he even had a dress on. Hey, I'm, I'm it's, kinda... it's okay. Listen, it's a nightgown, but it's still a dress. <laughs> uh, he's it has like a hole in it. He's like huffing, and he sees the um, the shift, and he make a strength uh, strength saving throw. Strength save. Mm -hmm. All right, here goes. I'm gonna add a hero point to that. Okay. Ooh. Oh. He goes. He struggles to push you off, but you keep him pushed down, keep him pinned, and he says, "You're just an offspring of my kind." <laughs> and he you begins. He off. begins reaching for the mall. Kick it! Kick it! Kick it! Even though you're on yeah, him, do like a twister kick move. It. Do a twister move and stick your toes out <laughs> and kick it away. Right. So it's your turn. It's um, my turn? Oh, it's, it's his turn. Okay. And I, and I go to, I might be an offspring of your kind, but I'm certainly not crazy like your kind. I don't know. It's your fucking <laughs> I go, listen to me. We're, we're not here to harm you or your lands. We're just here to fix the waystone. Uh, he'll use his free actions to basically say, I care not what you're here for, you're on my land. Then we'll move. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, we're only passing by. It's not worth we'll my going... tent getting destroyed. <laughs> the, longer, the longer that you fight us, the longer that we're here. <laughs> the longer that I fight you, the sooner you'll be in the ground. We'll still be on your land. Yeah, we'll still be on your land. <laughs> Strength. Strength again? Mm-hmm. He's an idiot. You even have vanish on this one. Okay. He pushes and struggles, but you keep him pinned. Um, Zibble's like, she sees can, him reaching for the mall and kicks it away really fast. Like she rushes over and kicks it away. Can Zibu use his sleep as like a touch attack as well, just to put him asleep? No, to get everybody. Uh. Um. Leo, kind of like catching up on what's going on, cast a spell. Um, like, this guy's like Raditz. I don't want to... He's my bro, but I don't want to kill him. <laughs> Leo steps close and casts a spell, trying to calm the the boar down. Um, that's when the boar actually lashes out at you, uh, Asir. Um... 
It kind of like <laughs> with its uh, tusky head. Forehead and to hits. Me. For 12 damage. He oh you. my god. He gores you with one of his tusks. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and what's funny is, uh, at least on my screen, uh, your camera glitched out a little bit, so it like auto tuned your voice. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, as much as I'd like to headbutt him back, he's got tusks though, so. Yeah. And, and his forehead's a bit far away. Um, but now it's actually the boar's turn again. Oh, unless you're doing something for you. Um, unless you're just hiding back there. Um, no, I need, I need to... Um... Leo kind of like jumps back at that. It's like, shit. I'm going to try to hold person. Okay. It is not that high of a DC. I fixed it. No, it's um, eight plus your charisma modifier plus two. I don't know why it's doing that though. Everything is yeah. right. Yeah, well, it's not on your character sheet, so it's thirteen. This is the wisdom save, and he makes it. Let me see what happens if he makes it. I don't think it has an additional effect, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Sure. So Leo's done something, Fizz done something, and Zibble's done something by kicking the thing away. Mm -hmm. And you've been holding it down. Nope. No, I'm okay. trying to figure out why this spell DC is so oh, high. Yeah, it's just something up with your character sheet. It's funky. Um, Alright, so... Hang on, I'm going to try to roll another one for testing. Strength saving throw uh, with disadvantage. Okay. This time he throws you off of him, knocking you five feet away. He stands and I fixed it. Claws out. What was it? I had my spell DC like put right here for spell oh, casting. You were adding an extra ten. Yeah, and it oh. added it for yeah. some reason. Well, that's what it does. Yeah, that, that doesn't go there. That's bonuses. That whole bar is just for bonus stuff. Okay, so he mauls out with his claws. Claws. And hits. Uh, your AC is supposed to be a 17, by the way. Mine? No, his. I was about to say, uh, so there's it's, no way. It's yours. Um, but it still hits. For 11 damage. Jesus. Oh my god. And then he... Another tusk down. We need to run. Uh, the tusk miss, misses. But he is... On you like death. And... Hmm. Alright, let's see. Spells? You guys' turn. I am going to. Hang on. Uh, Fia is going, or sorry, Zibble is going to give you Bardic Inspiration. Yep. Um, use the disengage action and get her ass in the wagon. Yeah, we need to. Um... <clears throat> well, can, I'm gonna. I could cast Ray of Frost on him to slow him down, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. So I'll point blank him with that. Uh... Okay. As you go to cast it, he tusks at you again and hits. Oh my god. But do I hit him though? We'll see. For 10 damage. Yes, uh, you, you hit him for 8 damage. Does it have any additional effect? Yeah, yeah, I just didn't, I don't think I wrote it down properly. But it's meant to slow him down a bit, uh... I'll just look at that link you sent me in my email. 
Was it said there? He looks hardly touched by the by the actual damage, though. Mm. So I guess that's good news for him. Uh, where is it? He is smart ass gonna get y'all killed. <laughs> <laughs> that was OOC. <laughs> I think I found it. Okay, so scrolling down. Uh, okay, trickster, no. Cleric, no. <laughs> Good job. All right. Ray of Frost, uh, 1d8 and neck of 10 uh, feet speed until the start of your next turn. Okay, well, you, you're only doing force damage to them because you typed forced. <laughs> <laughs> Just realized that. Wait, what? <laughs> you're doing forced. 8 forced damage to him. Oh, <laughs> forced <laughs> damage. Anyways, alright, so you slow him 1d10 feet? Yeah. So roll 1d10. All right, so you slow him by four feet per round, which I'm gonna round. I'm gonna round it up in this case, just subtract five off of it. Alrighty. And with body inspiration, I can run away. Uh, well, yeah. Um, well, it just gives you um, for the next two minutes. You can add plus one d six to something, but you have to disengage to not take an attack of opportunity, and you can't do that because you just cast a spell. So attack of oh, opportunity. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. And he hits. Oh no. For six damage. Oh. Kind of close. Yeah. But you managed so, to get on, the, ways. on the wagon. Can I? Can you make a Leo, try to see a hit bar? I did. I don't see it. Click on my screen. I don't see anyone's hit bar. Hmm. Oh, I know why. I have all the bars wrong. We running. We did, we stay. You should start seeing their bars now. Um, okay, you won't yeah. see uh, yes, Leo's or, or Morden Deers. That's fine, just us three. Yep. There, now you should see everybody's. We did. <laughs> yeah! Say bye bye to all your shit in the tent. We'll, we'll try and come back and get it later. Say bye bye to all your shit in the tent. Can I try to do, do an attack? Dun. You can cast a spell as he, as the freaking horses are charging off. Yeah, let's do it. Oop. Scorching Ray, 12 versus AC, is a hit. Alright, so mark him for that one. What is Oop. it? Holy crap, how many rays you got? Oh. You're like a freaking displacer, or uh, freaking, not displacer Dude. piece. <laughs> I have um, three rays. You have three eye stalks. Three rays. And a beholder. <laughs> Alright, how the <laughs> hell are you? Oh, you're, you're rolling attack against AC. So, all three of those hits, yeah. So, 12, 13, 11. You light it ablaze from just, there's just like, <laughs> and it yells out and freaking goes and picks up its maul and. No! Duck! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> He's burned. His hands hurt. He can't pick yeah, anything up. Yeah, he burned! Oh, oh no. Completely misses. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And look at his back! <laughs> it seems hey, that Lumi's coming back. Small? No, it goes flying off into oh. the woods. He freaking chucked it. Now he doesn't have them all. Let's go back. I still got another two spells of those. <laughs> but they look What's like the, the distance fire? on him? 120 feet. Okay. Can I get Leo to circle can I around? Use, can, I use my five, <laughs> can I use my fire bolt? Because that's 120 feet as well. <laughs> yes. 
I'm gonna burn and aid him. <laughs> oh. Kite him! Kite him! Kite him! <laughs> Don't look over. I'm not. Oh my god, did he crit something? <sighs> Don't tell me he threw them all like a boomerang. I see straw poll at the corner of my eye. He's like, don't look over. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Great news, that Lemmy. Bird icon. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, you found your kitty? Oh, good. Okay, to catch you up to speed, we camped out and this boar man has attacked us and I was a smart ass whenever he told us to get off his land and I was like, and he said, well, I'm going to kill you and put you in the ground. It's like, but we're still going to be on your land. And so he got mad at me and he started trying to kill us, but we're kiting him with fireballs right now. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're, we're, I think we're out of range of sleep, so you can cast it. There's only two options on this one. Okay, we're out of range of sleep, or... Well, like you could us. cast sleep, and we'd be fine. Ooh, guys, Strawhole, what is this? What is this? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, is he, is he too strong to be defeated? Is that... Um... And you can see a Sears hit point bar now, HP bar. He pretty much t tried to tank the fight. He pinned him down, oh, and no. the, the boar went crazy. Yeah. As the casters tried to start casting spells, he just went wild. I, I wanted to calm him down. I didn't want to kill another Wait. shifter. If, if we Is he a shifter? Good. Yeah. Well, no, so, he, uh, something a bit above shifter. Yeah, he called Leo an offspring of his kind. So. No, it was, you know, he called me. Yeah. Oh, or, yeah, no, oh yeah. yeah, he called this here. Alright, vote guys. Vote for the good option. <laughs> the good option. <laughs> They're oh, dead no. even. Oh no! Guys! Which one's like, a good option? Which one's a good option? I can change this. Not crashing into a tree. Okay. <laughs> That's the good option. Toppling over, we can just pick up materials. I'm gonna, uh, 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. The horses veer suddenly. Oh gosh, veer suddenly, spilling the people <laughs> inside time. out. It spills the people inside out, guys. You guys actually turn inside out in the wagon. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we all went inside of the bag of holding. Yeah. Like inside out boy on the swing set. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. That creeps me out so much as a child. So it topples as he veers. Everybody falls out. <laughs> And take seven damage. What? Can do, can do. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. You didn't put that in the straw hole. <laughs> Are you joking? Can do. <laughs> I mean, if we had flown through the air, then we would have hit the ground harder. As no, 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 no. as as we we're, as we we're, like riding away, can I do my um, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Stop putting them here. Second win. <laughs> Second win. No, no, you guys spill out. That that's what happens. So oh you spill God. out all, all over the ground. You are a littering of things. Uh, let me move this to the distance you guys have moved. There you we go. You're like, see, I ask you these things, and then you stay silent the whole time. And it really so to stand back me. up, you will, guys will suffer five feet loss on your next round. Yep. Oh. Um, I, <laughs> I will use second wind. We are pretty far away, though, now. We're 100 feet away from them, just about. So, seven health back. How are you gonna- oh yeah, yeah, Well, it's not your turn, so you can't use second wind. Oh, uh, okay. But ah! you can keep that roll. As he charges you guys down, but is unable- thanks to the Ray of Frost, is unable to get close enough. Now you can do whatever. Oh god, we have a uh, charge. Was that was I good, because I'm in front. I am getting all the way back here, whenever my turn <laughs> happens. So I'm back up to what, 12? Lumi, uh, I've used none of your level 1 spells. I have used two uses of your Bardic Inspiration, though. Okay. Currently, that's on Fia. The other one's already used. Um, let's see, spells. 
So I've used Ray Frost, Fireball. Um, did did Witch Bolt and Magic Missile come back as on the ride here? Would they count as a short rest? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna use Magic Missile, all three darts on him. Okay. Range of 120 feet. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. That's... And if I was able, I'd be getting those health potions off the cloak. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, the real useful items. Well, I was going to use one of my healing spells. He's but... very pissed off still. Uh, Zibble or Can Fia or Leo. Yeah. I, I want to right over here. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna fight. <laughs> I, I'm fighting. I'm gonna go pew. Pew pew. Jeez. Ooh. Oh. Hero pointed. Shit. Hero pointed. Can I cast it again and see if I want to use nope. inspiration on that? Because this particular time, either way, you have to roll 1d100. <gasps> oh, I forgot God. It. I forgot it last time. You lucked out. Lumi, I got turned into a sheep. <laughs> what? Yeah, she she went to go cast Burning Hands, and she was like, ah. <laughs> "Oh my gosh!" Look, I drew a picture of sheep for you. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, roll a one d ten. So cute. Roll one d ten. Roll one d ten. Do my other two attacks still go through? Roll one d ten. Oh my god. You grow five years younger. <gasps> oh and God. yes, your attacks do go off, except for the last one, which is a failure. Uh, give me just say it's a critical failure at that. But it made you younger. It made me younger. But she's already like 20. I'm really young, guys. So she's 15. I'm like yeah. a child prodigy now. Yeah. So you de age five years, and two of those attacks hit for. 21 damage. Guys, I'm 18. Hang on just a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in the legal limit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where it is? There it is. Sorry, I keep losing my tabs here. He's very happy. All right. Leo is so happy right now. <laughs> I have just graduated from jailbait, okay? <laughs> Is it, Kat, you've got to cast sleep on this guy or something. You've got to stop him dead in his he tracks. He's going to ruin us. Wait, so you're DH so you're 13 now? No. I'm 18 yeah, now. Yeah, I am. I've, I've DH'd oh, a few years. 18. I'm 18 now. <laughs> oh my god. Leo, uh, confused, uh, but happy. Oh god! <laughs> what is that? Oh no. <laughs> it's a tie, guys. Which one do we choose? Alright, I guess we'll just have to go with wild magic. <laughs> Roll 1d100. But you're already DH yeah. five years. That's wild enough. Yeah, that was just for casting the spell. Oh. Oh god. Yeah, I missed one time, so she looked out there. Everyone thinks I'm 18 at school. No, no, <laughs> you just do it once. Uh, and on the final scorching ray, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> potted plant. Oh, am I a potted plant? Yes, you're a potted plant. Oh my god. So she's an 18 year old potted plant. I'm a potted plant. I know it's one of my monitor cables. <laughs> 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 See if I can find a token for it. Guys, do you know what that means? Unless someone like picks nope, nope, me up. nope, 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 nope. Don't say it because the group might not know what's up. Oh my god! So there's a potted plant over there. I'm a potted <laughs> plant underneath a tree. <laughs> oh 
But we saw that you were casting your spell, so we obviously saw you. Yeah, like, if you look back on, like, Norm, you know that she has three scorching rays. The third one doesn't happen, and you look back, and there's a potted plant next to the tree. This is one I always joke about, and I never expect yeah. it to happen, and it happens. <laughs> and that leaves it with uh, Leo and Z uh, Zibble. Did you already do something? No. No, I haven't done anything. I'll let you go next. So, um... I... What did you say about my level one spells? I haven't used any of them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm definitely going rose. to... Uh... I can't draw a freaking rose. No, I'm just saying because it's thorny. Like, how, how bruised and battered does this poor man look now? After he's taken all this scorching rays and whatnot. Terrible. I'd put him to sleep. Can I... I mean, I'm trying to, like, understand what this means because I'm still such a noob. Like, would, he, would I be able to put him asleep with sleep? Um, let me Possibly. check out sleep really fast. There. So, <laughs> sleep does 20 foot radius, 5d8 worth of HP of conscious creatures fall asleep starting with the lowest one. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a wisdom save. So, a wisdom save at your level is uh, he has to make a 13 on his wisdom save or risk falling asleep. You'd roll 5d8. Okay, so which, do I cast spell and then roll 5d8? or? Yeah, you would cast it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Or, no, no, sorry, you, you don't have to click anything. I uh, have to roll oh, okay. the save. That's my fault. Um, so he doesn't have any bonuses to this. He fails the save, so you roll 5d8. <laughs> As he's coming forward. Yes. Yay! You did it. He like stumbles and staggers and falls to the ground there. And then uh, when that happens. Good work, Cat. <laughs> Save those. <laughs> <all. laughs> I don't know. Did I find that correct token again? I forget about that. He reverts back to his humanoid form there. And sleepy, <sighs> sleepy. Alright, I think tie we should tie him up. up. Oh my god, with <laughs> chains. Yeah, but we'll tie him up with chains. I'm just like. Wait a second. I'm just in the wind. Guys, guys, where's Fia? She's a plant over there. And then... Uh, the pot breaks. It only lasts for one turn. Oh, it does? The pot, yeah, okay. the pot breaks. Ooh. I thought that it was that right. one... It says it? It only lasts for one? Yeah. It says oh, until the start okay. of your next turn. The pot breaks, then but Fia has become one. a plant. <laughs> oh, God. She's now taking root in the forest. <laughs> These are my people now. <laughs> but as she kind of like, as Leo looks over for her and you say that she's a plant over there, she walks forward and she looks a, a bit younger. Not like super <laughs> younger, but like just a bit younger. She's a little bit, a little tiny bit shorter. Her horns are a little bit less developed and her hair is shorter. Instead of it oh, being I super, lost super my long. long hair. Instead of it being super, super long, it's like maybe not that much shorter. The silly thing is that everyone thinks I'm like 18 at school and I'm about to be 26. So, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Join <Yeah>. the club. <laughs> but since you guys know what she looks like, you can tell that there's a visible difference as she's walking up. Yeah. Like, like if oh somebody God. aged backwards and before your eyes, you would be able to see, like, yeah. whatever has happened has yeah. gone away. Like, so, mm -hmm. in that case. But the wisdom is still in her eyes. <laughs> this, um. <laughs> A grumpy but face, we, and I'm we, just gonna go throw back, throw things back in the wagon. Uh, but first, we gotta tie up this guy with chains and rope and whatnot. So let's do that. Okay. Um, as yeah. you're uh, getting the rope out of the back of the wagon, like as you retopple the wagon the correct way and kind of like get the horses taken care of and everything. Um, AC, I need a a Constitution saving throw. Yep. 
I need potions too. <laughs> I need some healing potions. Hmm. Uh, constitution. Oh my god, why? I'm gonna add a hero point to that so I can do it. <laughs> So I add one hero point to it, and I... Do I do it? Do I win it? Uh, it's not a death saving throw. You have to add a hero point, like 1d6. Yeah, I just ex Oh, do I actually have to add it? Mm-hmm. What is... Oh, okay. Okay. You still have Bardic Inspiration. Do you want to use that? To roll the... That's another 1d6. Oh, okay. Yeah. Six. Nice. I hey, see you feel rather chilled. You're not Damn sure it. what it is or why, but you're not feeling good. And mm. you kind of get weak and have to, like, kneel on the ground and catch your breath. What happened mm. to you? Don't tell you I got rabies like the freaking... this guy. Leo studies the body as, as I guess, um, you had you had the the rope and everything to tie him down, and he sees this like large old scarred bite across the back of the person's neck, and then like looks up and looks over at a seer, and kind of like back and forth, and then like starts pondering for a second. He's like, shit. Oh no. Now I'm kind of going. <laughs> yeah. Uh. We're gonna have to uh, tie you down too. Ooh. I think I. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> You've been bitten by a werebore. <gasps> uh, shit. Yeah, then I take I take my weapons off and just throw them into the cart. Okay. Do We're it. We're not tying him like that's a little tiny cart. We're not tying him up like he can he can get to us in that cart. But this makes sense. I'm already like like her like like that. Your your kind is descendant from lichens. Yeah, I know. But I'm still but from you, there. You're you're still not so enough can, of one. But I can become so if I if this infection does <laughs> complete so I can become like a were boar panther thing. Well, in your humanoid form, you're yourself. But in your if you were to turn into a were boar, uh, in your hybrid form, you would be mostly boar like and partially human like. So it gross. I don't want that. I don't want to look like a disgusting pumbo thing in my jigger. So he's like. He, he'll help you get into the, the wagon, but he's going to tie you down here. No, in the back of the wagon, so we can be up front. Thank you. Fine. Um, I guess the girls are going to help Leo tie yeah, I'm this dude nice. up. Get more of the, the, the uh, spawner he, banana up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> he tie, he use, uses the full foot, uh, full length of the 50 foot rope. On this dude, yeah. both of us, <laughs> and then, like, I, like, not on both of you, because like he's, he's like got though, got you on lockdown. We don't want to get bit by him. But he he basically asked where the cabin was, and you know that it was up off, like to the north, basically. So that guy like bit a seer. Well, yeah. He's he stabbed me with his tusk. Wait, went right we need to get our stuff out of the tents. Yeah, that's fine. We did it. That oh, was that was accounting right, so. for that. We just made sure that we got all our stuff. I'll help Leo drive. I don't want to be in the back of the wagon. Get your ass back there. Kid. I'm just going <laughs> to stare at them really nervous. So, does, my whole so, does, neck the out. so does the web have like his arms behind his back and everything like that? So he's he like of... he's like freaking bound. Like, yeah, like it's 50 he feet of hemp and rope. Down. Like he's been spider webbed. He is not oh, getting okay. out of that. By the way, spider webbed, <laughs> new meme, go ahead. Put it up on Hog Instagram. Died. All right. I get it. Hogtied. <laughs> what? 